Hello everyone, welcome to Study with Roma. This channel is created to help students, parents, or anyone interested to learn math. And this is episode 11. Today, we will talk about illustrating ratio using same unit. For example, Pole A is 1 meter long and pole B is 200 centimeters long. What is the ratio of the lengths of pole A to pole B? Let's start with the given. Pole A is equal to 1 meter and pole B is equal to 200 centimeters. There are different units in this example, so we cannot write the ratio as 1 is to 200. That is wrong. So to solve this, step 1, convert to same unit using the conversion table. Find meter to centimeter. We have here 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So Pole A is now 100 centimeters. Step 2. Get the ratio of terms with same unit and reduce to lowest term if needed. Pole A is to pole B is equal to 100 centimeter is to 200 centimeters. This ratio is not in its lowest term. To know more on reducing ratio to lowest term, check episode 10. The greatest common factor of 100 and 200 is 100. So our ratio will be 100 divided by 100 is to 200 divided by 100, which is equal to 1 is to 2. 1 and 2 have no other factor except 1, therefore 1 is to 2 is in its lowest term. Example number 2, 30 centimeters is to 2 meters. Again, step 1, convert to same unit using our conversion table. Find meter to centimeter. We have here 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. However, we need 2 meters, so we will multiply 1 meter by 2 and 100 centimeters by 2. We now have 2 meters is equal to 200 centimeters. Step 2. Get the ratio of terms with same unit and reduce the lowest term if needed. 30 centimeters is to 2 meters will be 30 centimeters is to 200 centimeters. Now we will reduce the lowest term. The greatest common factor of 30 and 200 is 10. So 30 divided by 10 is to 200 divided by 10 which is equal to 3 is to 20. Example number 3, 50 decimeters is to 4 meters. Step 1, convert the same unit using the conversion table. So let's find meter to decimeter. We have 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeters. By the way, it is helpful if you will memorize the conversion table. To get 4 meters, we will multiply both sides by 4. So 1 meter times 4 is equal to 10 decimeters times 4. So 4 meter is equal to 40 decimeters. Step 2. Get the ratio of terms with same unit and reduce the lowest term if needed. 50 decimeters is to 4 meters will be 50 decimeters is to 40 decimeters. The GCF of 50 and 40 is 10. 
So 50 divided by 10 is to 40 divided by 10. So our ratio is 5 is to 4. Example number 4, 2 kilometers is to 500 meters. Step 1, convert to same unit using the conversion table. 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. To get 2 kilometers, multiply both sides by 2. 1 kilometer times 2 is equal to 1,000 meters times 2. So, 2 kilometers is equal to 2,000 meters. Step 2, get the ratio of terms with same unit and reduce to lowest term if needed. 2 kilometers is to 500 meters will be 2,000 meters is to 500 meters. Now, let's reduce the ratio to lowest term. The greatest common factor of 2,500 is 500. So 2,000 divided by 500 is to 500 divided by 500, which is equal to 4 is to 1. Let's try examples on units of time. Example number 5. 8 hours is to 1 day. Step 1. Convert the same unit using the conversion table. Find hour and day. We have 1 day is equal to 24 hours. And step 2. Get the ratio of terms with same unit and reduce the lowest term if needed. 8 hours is to 1 day will be 8 hours is to 24 hours. The greatest common factor of 8 and 24 is 8. So divide both sides by 8. 8 divided by 8 is to 24 divided by 8 is equal to 1 is to 3. Example number 6. 500 seconds is to 2 hours. Step 1. Convert the same unit using the conversion table. Find seconds to hours. However, we only have hours to minutes and minutes to seconds. So we will convert twice. First, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. Multiply by 2 both sides to get 2 hours. 2 hours is equal to 120 minutes. Now we will convert 120 minutes to seconds since we need second as unit. So from the table, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. We will multiply both sides by 120 to get 120 minutes. So, 120 minutes is equal to 7,200 seconds. Therefore, 2 hours is equal to 120 minutes is equal to 7,200 seconds. So, let's move on to step number 2. Get the ratio of terms with same unit and reduce to lowest term if needed. 500 seconds is to 2 hours will be 500 seconds is to 7,200 seconds. The greatest common factor of 500 and 7,200 is 100. So divide both sides by 100. 500 divided by 100 is to 7,200 divided by 100 which is equal to 5 is to 72. Lastly, this is using units of mass. Example number 7, 200 grams is to 1 kilogram. Step 1, 
Convert the same unit using the conversion table. Find kilogram to grams. 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Step 2. Get the ratio of terms with same unit and reduce the lowest term if needed. 200 grams is to 1 kilogram will be 200 grams is to 1,000 grams. 200 is the greatest common factor of 200 and 1,000, so divide both sides by 200. 200 divided by 200 is to 1,000 divided by 200, which is equal to 1 is to 5. And that's all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time. Bye!